How worried are you about the Indian currency, Masha? We talked about it last time. A year ago, you were underweight. And my word, we've seen uh, it go all the way down, close to 70. It's bounced back, as you said in the beginning of this interview, following the new RBI governor's entry. But uh, do you believe the worst is over for the rupee? Look, um, you know, what we have seen, I think, is uh, the uh, abandonment in some shape and form of, uh, of the um, policy to try to manage uh, exchange rate. That's very difficult. Um, you um, will have to uh, give up quite a bit or you have to have a, a very credible threat uh, of a very large pile of reserves uh, that you are willing to spend to do it um, adequately. You can contrast and see how the other EM peers uh, have done it, and we've seen Brazil being more successful at that than, say, Turkey, that spent 15 percent of its reserves within a week, uh, so not very credible at all. Um, I think that the initiative to uh, try to shore up uh, the um, current account uh, deficit and, and solve uh, some of the capital uh, account issues through uh, raising the capital from Indians overseas has been very well received. Um, so I think the more that program um, can raise, uh, the more it will be viewed as a, as a source of, of capital um, in, um, um, again, in access or in addition to, uh, to the bond funding. Um, so again, the predictability of policy transparency um, that is, is targeting um, the uh, outcomes other than um, uh, FX uh, rate uh, and more the outcomes like FX volatility um, is, uh, is going to be um, accepted by the market. So it's, it's a journey towards uh, greater credibility. Um, and it's a journey that, you know, the governor started well by um, making a move on the, on the rate side that no one expected. And I think, again, that shows uh, independence um, and that typically gets rewarded by the, by the currency market. What are your expectations from the elections? What are you hoping for, Masha? Oh, I'm not an expert, so I think <laughs> it's, a, it's a futile outcome. So what we're hoping for is a government that uh, has enough voting power to enact laws. Um, the math is, is very difficult. So I will leave it up to you, Vivek. Hello and welcome, welcome to Market